proposed legislation in the California State Assembly could see a host of popular candies and foods, including Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, and Pez, as well as some types of Campbell's soup, potentially banned. The goal is to crack down on five common food additives that have been linked to cancer and organ damage. Three of those additives are already banned in the EU. Democratic Assembly member Jesse Gabriel, who represents part of the San Fernando Valley, proposed the legislation and joins us live now to discuss. Assembly member, good to see you. Thanks for coming back on the show. Uh, so this headline freaks a lot of people out. Explain to us what exactly you're trying to do here. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to see you. So we are, just to be clear, we are not trying to ban any particular type of food, any type of product. We are just trying to ban the use of five toxic chemicals that have well-documented risks of harm, chemicals that are linked to cancer, reproductive issues, developmental and behavioral issues in kids, and they are already banned in the EU. All five of them are already banned in the EU. Many of them are banned in countries like the UK and Canada and Brazil. Many companies out there in the private sector have stopped using them, Coke, Pepsi, Gatorade, Papa John's, Dunkin' Donuts, Panera, others have moved away from these chemicals because they understand that they cause harm to kids. And so what we're asking these companies to do is what they've already done in Europe, which is to switch their recipes, to find different ingredients. They can still make these candies. They still have Skittles in Europe. They still have a lot of these wonderful candies that people eat in Europe. They have just taken out a few ingredients that are really, really dangerous, particularly for young people. I'm the father of three little kids. Uh, it's important to me that we're protecting all of our kids here in the state of California. And so we want these companies to do the right thing, to do the responsible thing, to shift up their recipes and to protect our families and our consumers here in the state of California. So just to be clear, though, if you go forward and ban these chemicals and if they don't change their recipes, they would be banned, right? Yeah, I mean, that's certainly hypothetically true, but there's no way that Skittles is going to walk away from the California market. There's no way that any of these companies, you know, California is too big of a market. They're going to do what they've done in Europe. They're going to do what they've done in the UK. They're going to do what they've done in Canada. They're going to switch up their recipes. None of these chemicals is essential to producing these uh, foods or candies. All of them, one part of the reason we chose them, all of these five chemicals have very clear substitutes that can do the same thing. So we're just asking folks to make small modifications to their recipes to walk away from these chemicals that are really, really toxic. And you've seen that, right? Papa John's has voluntarily stopped using these chemicals in their pizza. Coke and Pepsi and Gatorade have stopped using them in their soft drinks. Panera no longer uses them in their food products. So there's, you know, I don't think there's any realistic possibility that we're going to see products come off the market. I think what is likely if this bill is signed into law is that folks are going to adjust their recipes and we're going to have safer food here in the state of California. But, but a lot of people don't like the word ban. They like like incentives or or they like voluntary, <laughs> they don't like the concept that government is telling you to do something. If this is such a problem and if it is so bad, why don't those companies just follow the model of all the other companies and do it themselves? Why does the government have to mandate it? Well, I, I'm hoping that a lot of these folks would be uh, good actors here and do that. The problem here in the backdrop here, which is important for folks to understand, is that we have a huge flaw in the federal regulation of food here in the United States, something that I didn't learn about until recently. So the FDA, which is supposed to uh, regulate, keep all this safe, there is a giant loophole that allows approximately 99% of the chemicals that go into our food to escape independent, meaningful federal review. So in all of these other countries, they have the government doing tests, looking out for folks, and deciding that there are chemicals out there that are just too dangerous, there's too much science linking them to cancer and other harms, and that they shouldn't be included in foods here. And so I understand the idea that folks here would want to um, have some, some ability to choose, but I will tell you, as a parent, you know, I can't look at a, a wrapper in the store and see something like titanium dioxide or propyl paraben or uh, potassium bromine and understand what that means. And so I'm assuming and I'm expecting that folks out there are are watching out for us. And it's, I think that's a very, very bipartisan idea, right? We had Richard Nixon who created the, um, the EPA to make sure that there aren't toxic chemicals in our air, there aren't toxic chemicals in our water. And I expect that a lot of folks out there assume that the FDA is doing the same thing. And they don't realize that there is this giant loophole. And so I would say as a parent, for me, I'd just be relieved that there's one less thing to have to worry about.
All right, and if you had Richard Nixon on your uh, bingo card tonight, take a drink uh, for the <laughs> Jesse go. Gabriel reference. Uh, thank you so much, Assembly Member. Nice to see you, uh, and stay in touch as this progresses. It's still pretty early on in the process. It'll be interesting to see what happens as it goes forward and when the lobbyists come after you. Uh, Jesse. I, 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 absolutely. Thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Be well.